welcome. I pray that you and your families are all safe on today. I have a message for you. That message is, there are two things that are desired for you to be patient and for you to control your temper. Let's pray. Father God, we come before your throne of grace and mercy. Lord God, Lord God, thanking you, Lord God, that you are the giver, Lord God, of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Father God, we receive that from you on today, O oh Lord. Have your way. Lord, build up families all around the world. Thank you. We count it done in Jesus' name. Lord, I submit myself unto you. Use me. And it's in your son Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. We have Ecclesiastes 7, 8 through 7, 11. It is better to finish something than to start it. It is better to be patient than to be proud. Don't become mad quickly because getting angry is foolish. Don't ask why was life better in the good old days. It is not wise to ask such questions. Wisdom is as good to have as inheriting property. It helps people see what to do. Ecclesiastes 8, 1 through 5. No one is like the wise man. He can understand what things mean. His wisdom makes him happy. It makes his sad face happy. I advise you always to obey the king's command. Do this because you made a promise to God. Don't be too quick to quit the job the king gave you. But don't support something that is wrong. Remember, the king does whatever he pleases. The king is the highest power. No one can tell him what to do. A person will be safe if he obeys the king's commands. A wise man knows how to do the right thing at the right time. So two things that he desires for you to be patient and for you to control your temper. That includes me. My brothers and sisters, this is a message for all time. It is relevant in no matter what we are doing, whether that's speaking to one another, whether that's speaking at a convention, whether that is speaking to our children when they're going through something. It doesn't matter what it is. But we must be patient and control our tempers. Because it is right here in the moments that we're dealing with one another where the enemy will try to confuse either one or both of you when a temper gets too high, when emotions run too high. So be patient with one another. Hear one another out. Have an understanding for one another. Yes, sometimes it's hard, but it is necessary. You want to treat one another like you would want to be treated. So if you want respect, give it. If you want care and consideration, give it my brothers and sisters. Don't let 
yourselves be deceived by your emotions. Don't let your emotions rule. You rule your emotions. I am hoping that you're having a great day. It is the weekend. And God's promises are true for you today. If you are here, that means you have work to do. Yes, you have work to do. Don't give up. Now is not, not the time. Do not give up. There are promises that God has made to you and he wants to see them fulfilled in this time, in this hour, in this life. Not later right now do not give up do not move do not let go trust the lord trust him he knows the way he is the way i want you to take this message with you no matter where you go no matter what you do have patience and control your temper. Even if you're standing in line at a restaurant or at a grocery store at a, or at a gas station, my brothers and sisters, do what you would do when no one is looking. Have some patience. Be friendly. Be approachable. And have a great understanding that yes, you are human, but your emotions do not have to rule you. You rule them. Know that God loves you on today. And so do I. Sending you love, light, and healing energy, my brothers, my sisters, in Jesus' name.